icy The life ain't looking at me nicely It's icy Things be looking kinda dicey Precisely Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome yourselves back to the InSync Podcast. I'm here with Dominic, Lucas, and Sean. And we're here uh, going to review a reality check by Sway Lee. So we're going to see if this is uh, trash, maybe fire, maybe in the playlist, maybe not. So uh, we're going to see. Let us know what you guys think. So uh, let's go. Okay, so that was Reality Check by Sway Lee. Dom, what are your thoughts on this song? Um, I honestly don't know what the first listen. Um, <laughs> it was different for sure from Sway Lee. I, like, it was the same melodic self, but I guess there was just something different about it. It was, it was a little more laid back on, like, than what he normally does. Because normally he's singing, it's upbeat. So it was a little more laid back, something I wasn't expecting. The mix sounded amazing for sure. Like it was done really well. But um, yeah, I would just say my main thing with it was it was laid back in a different style. So I wasn't used to it, I, I guess. Um, so maybe it'll, my mind will change with more listens, but right now I give it like a five out of 10. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I, I, I did have a little bit of a kind of like, oh, what do you, what do you know, what do I think exactly? Um, I will say though, the hook was really fire. I thought the hook was mega fire. Uh, the mix again, really good. Um, love this bassy vibe, the soft piano at the beginning right away. I was like, oh, this is a dope song. I feel like this is a really good example of a, a very, <coughs> a very chill, uh, but also upbeat song at the same time. My apologies for coughing. I have Corona, but I thought it was a really good mix of both. Um, I thought the Adam and Eve line was. I thought the Adam and Eve line was super dope. My woman forbidden like Adam and Eve. That was pretty good. Um, yeah, like I said, chorus was really good. Beat was really good. I feel like uh, could have been structured a little better. Um, it, I felt like there were certain times where it kind of dropped off for a second. Now that's okay with the spacey song. It just kind of took me out for a second, and then the chorus came back. It there's just certain parts where it didn't like kind of didn't really make that much sense. Like the bridge didn't. I almost felt like I got cut a little too short. Just certain structural things that I feel like it could have been a little, a um, little more condensed or a little more drawn out, but with substance. I don't know. I, that's just kind of what I felt first listen, um, and then, uh, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's about it for the things I don't like. But I definitely um, like the atmosphere, the beat, the mix, and all of that, and uh, the over catchiness um, way more than just the structure's a little iffy. So. I give it a good 6.5 out of 10, around 7. So, 7 to 6.5, around there. What do you think, Joseph? Um, For me, I liked I like this song. Um, I'm always, I always love the, you know, the, the vibey kind of just, like, really, like, surround sound kind of, like, outer space kind of vibe, which I like when any artist does that. I think every artist should explore that. Um, that's why I like Snow on the Bluff so much. Um, I liked it. It's like right on the edge of going to the playlist and not. It's like it's a very yeah, I agree. thin line. Like, um, it was. I did like the verse too. Like, reality check, check and reality. You know, text my ex, make sure she's not doing better than me. Yeah, that's right. You ain't doing better than me because you <laughs> left me. Anyway, that's another topic that we're not going to. Oh. Uh, so uh, yeah, no. Um, it's so close. You guys, you guys are gonna hate me. my opinion on this song. I could already oh, tell. No. This. Oh no, going. Lucas! Lucas Keep is going. gonna hate this. Um, no, I, I, it's so close. I'm going to the playlist, but then it's like, because it's it's not like Dom said. It's not really like the usual like Sway Lee vibe that I'm like you know used to, where he's like kind of like singing and it's like upbeat kind of sort of way. So. Um, I really liked it. I really like it. it. Was it was longer too? It was like almost like four minutes, and it, it flowed very well throughout the whole song. Usually, when a song is long, it can kill it. But um, it was good. It wasn't. It was. It's so close. Um, shoot, when it goes to the playlist, it's probably. It's a ten. You've told me a ten is a playlist. Ten is a playlist, so it's gonna be a nine point five. <clears throat> nice. Uh, and before Lucas goes, I will say, um, my score will probably go up on our our Sunday video where we like wrap up each song and tier list it. Um, check that out. So nice plug, but my point is it's probably a grower. Um, but it, Luke, <laughs> you hate it, but why? Two out of ten. Two out oh, of no. ten. It's, oh, no. Dude. Oh, no. Okay, that's... Okay. No, no, shut up, Sean. You don't, you don't ever have solid reasoning. Or, I mean, if you do, it's... Okay, okay. Okay, Luke. Like, 
<laughs> My okay. bad. Explain First why you. All. First of all, dude, honestly, I need a reality a reality check. Are you serious? This guy is worth nine million dollars. He is okay. Dude, he is fine. Lucas, that, that is no, no that is no. no. Sean, you are not educated in this matter. Okay, bud. But then, then there's this. I gotta go check on my ex to make sure she all he's happy right now. All the strippers he's seeing, dude. Why would he care if he has all these women coming in, which he's talked about multiple times, just eat, just the people regularly? If this, I mean, why would he care? It, it's just so weird. I feel like these kind of these kind of clash. These two subjects kind of clash a little bit here, and it, it's amazing to me. The lyrics automatically lost me because I'm like, okay, how, dude, I, I mean, do you not want people to think you're just a ho dog and nothing more? Because there are plenty of other melodic rappers out there, plenty of other melodic rappers. And so far, this guy is the most generic when it comes to lyrics. Automatically the most generic guy. The only reason I give this 2 out of 10 is because of the beat. The beat was okay. It was pretty good. So I give this a two out of ten because of the beat. Did you, did did you, did you like like the outer sky, like the outer space kind of vibe, or, or no? You weren't messing with it. No, like the fl the flow is okay. The flow is okay, but otherwise I'm like, okay, dude, this guy's like, I need a reality check. Throw throw money on the ground. Look at all this money. Set cars on fire. I mean, dude, doesn't make any sense whatsoever. This guy has okay, just to do that. Do you realize how much? Um, damage could, could have been done in that one room alone. Dom and Joseph, what do you guys think about what, 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 what? Frick, I can't talk about what Luke is saying. Um, I mean, I see where he comes from, lyric, lyrically wise. I mean, it wasn't, it, it definitely wasn't the greatest. Um, Thank but you. if you can, if you can look beyond that and see, like, oh, this is like, it's vibey, you know, it's really good. But it's okay. Everyone's got an opinion, and I respect it. I respect it. I give the flow. A pretty good rating, though. I gave the flow probably two out of ten as well, um, especially for this song. So but does that make it a four? Reality, no, Sean, two out of ten. So I rate that a two out of ten. And so look, the instrumental and the flow combined are two out of ten. That's the only reason I give any points toward this at all. Wow. Otherwise, just like okay, Swaley, I I, I kind of knew this how Swaley was gonna sound in this song. Once I heard the beat, I'm like, oh, he's gonna go for this kind of flow. Oh, I thought gonna... I actually I actually thought that was gonna be a, like a political one that he did, but uh. See me too. When I saw when I saw the um the cover and the like um song title, I thought it was gonna be Black Lives Matter. Which at first it was like in the video, you have that person smashing the car. So I'm like, okay, that's okay. Black Lives Matter. Here we come. But no, I I, I was a little bit surprised to see that he wasn't talking about Black Lives Matter. And he was talking about what he talks about every day um smashing all the horrors at the bars so it, it's not really anything new with sway lee which i'm like okay now every once in a while i have this moment where i'm like okay i have to say this but i know there's not really a whole lot to write about i mean there ha but i mean there there has to be something else besides smashing all these girls there has to be something else that, i'm telling that, you that's man. not what it was about yeah, though yeah. Sean, what are you talking about, dude? This whole song is basically about women. What do you think, Joe? What do you think, Dom? Riding cars. This is all about status. What do you think, Dom? Dude, that's, that's honestly, hold on, but that's like 95% of all like rappers' lyrics though now. Yeah, it's, it's he's either, kinda, kinda, if, it's, kinda, if it's not heartbroken, it's either it's all about like flexing and saying, oh, I got a car. Like, if you hear, literally hear any Gunna song, and you'll hear all about <clears throat> most little baby yeah, songs, except women, for like the newest probably. ones. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, that, that's, that's the problem I have with, with a lot of them. But when you say like, I don't like how sometimes what rappers do is they kind of contradict contradict themselves in certain ways in certain songs. Like this song, for example, when he talks about his relationships, and then one like he's going over to his ex, seeing how she's doing, and hoping that he she's not even near. I mean, this might just be like just to write, not just fake, but still, it just doesn't seem to be like. Why would you write about not wanting your girlfriend to do better than you, but then talking about all these women? Like you don't care about her as well. I mean, it just doesn't really make sense to me either. And then you're talking about reality check when you're worth nine million dollars and you're setting stuff on fire at your okay, home. Okay, money does I'm not equate to happiness or. Sean, okay, well, dude, you clearly missed the point. If that's what you, if that's what it is, dude. That, no, look, reality check. What does he need to be? Re what? Does, why does he have to have a reality check right now? He's been worth millions for years now. Because maybe he's, he's having anxiety or depression, or he's. 
or any I of mean, these kind of things. But still, dude, I mean, he doesn't state it right, right out, dude. He's talking about cars, he's talking about money, he's talking about all the girlfriends he's having. Dude, I mean, nothing about anxiety at all. So, I mean, it's still... And look at look at the video as well. The video doesn't really show anything different besides what he's saying in the yeah. song. All that's right, all, well, that's all I'm saying. All right, let's, let's wrap it up. Uh, Dom, any response to any of this? No. Yeah, th thank you for the input, Dom. All right, uh, well, uh, Lucas, go ahead and outro it. Sorry, I'm sorry, Dom. All right, if you guys want to check out more, go to the Insane Podcast. I'm not using my account anymore because Sean's actually doing a pretty good job with his, and I'm kind of done arguing with him about it. So go check check out the Insane Podcast Instagram, the TikTok, and I think we have a YouTube um, account coming out as well. We do. It's already out, um, but no views. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so go subscribe to that. Go follow all of us on Instagram. I don't really care about me. I have enough followers. Go follow everyone else on here. They all deserve it. And like, subscribe, and have a good night. Link in description. Peace out. Yes.